everyone, it is Danny and welcome to this update video this morning. I hope you're doing great and we're going to be talking about what is going on across the North Atlantic. So there are some systems out there, a couple of frontal systems and across the Caribbean on a whole, there isn't anything too major. So we're going to be taking a look at what is happening and what is expected as we head through today in terms of rainfall activity as well as those winds. And so let's get on to it. We're looking at a surface chart here and there you can see those two fronts. So two cold fronts are noted in the Gulf of Mexico and we can see an orange broken line just in the vicinity of the Windward Islands extended outward across the Atlantic. That is a trough which is in the area. But aside from that, there isn't anything else uh, really happening in the Caribbean right now. And that is kind of reflected on the satellite imagery. Let's take a look at it. We can see a lot of cloud patches noted here and they're likely bringing some overcast weather or even some passing showers across some areas. And really that's kind of the most to expect today. Some areas may experience some thunderstorm activity, especially over in Central and Northern South America. But for most Caribbean islands, there isn't a whole lot going on right now and much is not expected as we're going to be heading through today but again some areas have been experiencing some showers down in parts of the windward islands again there's that trough in the area and we can even see a little bit of convection associated with it so even some thunderstorms could be popping up within this area through today and of course, uh, some areas have experienced some downpours, even some heavy downpours yesterday. Some parts of Jamaica going towards Cuba as well over in Central and Northern South America. Now, as it relates to the rainfall forecast, here we are taking a look at it. And when we see more of those reds and oranges, that is indicating rainfall amounts up to around an inch or just over an inch of rainfall. That a vibrant red shade. So across portions of the southern Gulf, the Bay of Campeche and into Mexico, even for portions of Belize and northern Guatemala, there could be some periods of some uh, substantial downpours through today. And a similar story across the eastern section of Honduras, Nicaragua, going to Costa Rica and western Panama, northwest Panama. There could be some heavy downpours within the area. Elsewhere, some scattered showers and uh, thunderstorms are possible. Similar story across much of northern South America, across portions of Colombia, Venezuela, the Guyanas. There may be some uh, shower and thunderstorm activity, especially later today. And then for the ABC Islands and through portions of the Lesser Antilles, Trinidad, Tobago, Grenada, the Grenadines, St. Vincent, even for St. Lucia, uh, Barbados, potentially for Dominica, Martinique, as well as Guadeloupe, there may be some periods of some showers moving through again there's that trough within the area so that may enhance some shower activity but things get drier as we head through the rest of the uh, lesser antilles going up to the leeward islands and then a similar story for puerto rico and the virgin islands where a whole lot is not expected and then hispaniola jamaica headed toward the cayman Islands, sections of cuba and even for the bahamas some showers may be moving through at times but things will be pretty dry across the turks and caicos islands at least that is what is anticipated as we head through today. And then in terms of the winds, it's not going to be a huge contrast compared to yesterday. Uh, the same area is likely to experience some of those uh, gusty winds, especially just offshore of the northern coast of Colombia and even for Venezuela as well and in the vicinity of the ABC Islands, especially for Aruba, it may be quite windy through today. Winds up to around 15 knots at the maximum across most eastern islands, going from around Puerto Rico, the Virgin Islands, through the Lesser Antilles as well. Things get a bit more tranquil across across Jamaica, going to Cuba, and even uh, for Haiti and portions of the central and southern Bahamas and over in Central America as well. But close to the Caribbean coast of Honduras and Nicaragua, uh, and even for Panama as well, those winds may be a bit stronger within the area. And similar story for the Cayman Islands. And as I said earlier, there are those fronts in the Gulf of Mexico. So winds are kind of kicking up there, but eventually as they diminish, things are going to be common down and why is nothing really happening across the caribbean you may ask let's go on to this here and notice how vibrant this map is this is showing the water vapor and in those areas of those shades of browns and reds that is indicating uh dry air those areas of very limited water vapor so not as much moisture to support a whole lot of shower and thunderstorm activity and there's no major weather system moving in such as a lot of those troughs so we can see that there isn't much happening and a more stable pattern is going to be persistent for some time especially for the southeastern caribbean 
And uh, speaking of, I have a video coming to Weather Extras, my second channel, very soon, uh, maybe as soon as tomorrow. So if you haven't yet subscribed and tapped the bell, you can go ahead and do so, and you'll know when that video is posted. But that is pretty much what I wanted to share with you guys in this update. And I hope you found it to be quite informative. However, if you have any questions, as always, please leave them in the comments. I'll respond to you when I get the chance to do so, and remember to always be weather-wise.